already applied my transfers to this table. The table had been painted in two coats of Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint in the color French linen. And then I applied the Dixie Belle transfers in the floral romance pattern. I used my sprayer with um, a water just to lightly mist over the tabletop in order to get it slightly damp and ready to layer. Taking my brush, I very lightly dip it into the color Plum Crazy. It's a really pretty uh, pinky color. And as you can see, I dab it off onto a paper towel before swirling it into my paint. Now this is the first step to creating a very soft and pretty finish over your transfers. What we're trying to do here is make the transfers not look like a sticker, but actually make them look that they are part of the table and hand painted. In order to do that, you need to start layering your paints on top of the stencil, or I'm sorry, the transfer. And in particular, pay attention to the edges of the transfer so you can really blend those into your paint finish. I am now using the original paint color, which is French linen, and I'm doing the same thing with my brush. I am just lightly dampening it with the paint and then I am layering it on top of the pink color. Um, this is just basic layering. I'm going to do this multiple times. If your paint starts to dry out, just quickly use your spray mister to give your finish a little bit of spray. It has to be slightly damp in order for this to work. Once again, I'm taking my French linen, this time in a, I'm using um, a smaller brush and applying it over my paint. Basically, I'm going back and forth between the pink and the gray, layering them as I go, and then I step back and take a look and see how it's going. Do I want it darker? Do I need the more pink? Um, and as you go along, just mist it and you're good to go. You really can't go wrong. And as I said before, make sure you do a lot around the edges of your transfers. That is to completely get them to fade into your layers. And when you'll see the pictures at the end of the video of the painted piece, I think you'll get an idea of what I mean. So after multiple layers of both the pink and the gray, which I did not um, share with you because it just would take forever. It's a lot of layers, you guys, that you need to do. Um, then the final coat was gray and I smoothed that in and let that dry before applying my wax. To seal my piece, I used clear wax. This is the Dixie Belle brand. You can find all the links to the products in the comment section below. Apply the wax lightly all over your piece and then what I do is I allow it to dry and then I buff it with a very soft cloth and it gives it a beautiful hand rubbed uh, finish and I will show you the pictures at the end of the video of the final product. <music> 